<laughs> Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, the Bad Wolf, and today we have a fresh set of custom dust jackets for Batman Hush and Batman by Snyder and Capullo, volumes one and two. Stick around, it should be fun. <laughs> Welcome back, true believers, to another Bad Wolf Comics custom dust jacket episode. Fall is upon us and Halloween's just around the corner. We got a new set of decorations for the studio, we got a brand new intro, and we got our very first custom dust jackets that aren't Marvel. I finally got my large order from Roy in of over 50 custom dust jackets. We finally were able to expand outside the Marvel books. We did a bunch of DC stuff. We did a lot of stuff for Image. You guys are gonna have a lot of new content coming in the coming months and the coming weeks. Stick around, I promise you won't be disappointed. Roy has done some stellar work as usual. But enough of all that, let's quit talking about it. I'm gonna stack the books here. We're gonna pull them out one by one. You'll see them side by side, the original and the new. We'll do spine shots, and uh, at the end we'll show you some of the creation process. Don't go away. <laughs> all right, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with Batman by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, volume one. Uh, great stories, loved it. The Court of Owls, everything about this was just a great, uh, great purchase for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, and this, I actually wasn't really going to do anything with this because the spines really aren't that bad. I mean, yeah, they could use some color, but I really didn't have a problem or an issue with this. What this set really came down to is I saw what Roy did, and it was way better than what was here. And as soon as I saw what he did, I said, man, we've got to do a Bad Wolf Comics variant. So I went ahead and chose a few covers, and we, we left the spines exactly how Roy designed them, because uh, Roy does stellar work. So the spines on these are not my choice. Uh, I chose the covers. This was Roy's design for the spine. So uh, let's get to that here. Let's put this back. Here's the same book with a new cover. I really just liked this art better. Uh, I thought it stood out more. It was a little more menacing. Um, I, I looked through all the covers and all the variant covers, and this is the one that I found that really stood out to me. I really liked this. They did a really good job with it. And then, of course, we did our collected covers on the back. Makes it look really nice. Now, this is a little difficult to show you as a single cover, but here, here's what the, the spine looks like. And on its own, it doesn't look like a lot. You know, it, it looks kind of odd and by itself. And I'm usually, I'm usually, and in fact, I say this in almost every one of my custom dust jacket videos that I have multi covers. Most of the time, I want my, my books to look good on their own as well as in a set when put together. This was so awesome that I, I didn't care. So now let me just put this away here. Put this down. I'll bring it back up and show you the spine side by side so it makes sense. And then here's volume two. Uh, again, it's all right. It's not a bad cover per se. I just didn't really care for the art as much as the one that I chose here. Uh, and same thing. Spine was actually really good. If it wasn't for the fact of uh, Roy's design was so amazing, I probably would have just left these books alone. Uh, I mean, because yeah, I, I wouldn't mind changing the cover. I wouldn't mind doing the uh, collected covers, but the spines really weren't that bad and I didn't have an issue with it. So now with the second book, here's the cover we chose here a Batman versus Superman thing going on, and this is very menacing. I really liked it. Just the tone set by the art in this was just amazing. I, I really liked this picture, so we definitely went ahead and went with that. And once again, we did our collected covers on the back. Now with the spines here, together, Together, we have bats running across the spines, and when, when they put side by side, it matches up perfectly. It looks really good. Uh, not everyone likes this, though. I've, I've, I've run into a few people that didn't like the fact that it covers up the Batman on there. Uh, I just really enjoyed the, the, the picture, and I thought it was just a really uh, creative way to do a, a connected spine. Uh, once again, kudos to Roy for, for designing this. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite designs he's done, and that's, that's why when I saw it, I definitely added it to our order. Just changed a few covers to make it a Bad Wolf Comics variant. Um, and of course, we do have the Bad Wolf Comics logo on the back, as usual. You probably, maybe you can't see it on the camera, but we always get our Bad Wolf Comics logo on the new custom dust jackets when we help design them, um, or at least when we do a Bad Wolf Comics variant. Uh, other than that, uh, that's Batman by Snyder and Capullo. Let's move on here. All right, so Batman the Hush Saga. When I picked this up, I actually like the Hush Saga. Uh, this, this saga actually gets a lot of hate. I see online a lot of people just didn't care for it, and to each their own. Not, it's not for everyone's taste, just like there's, there's lots of runs of stuff that I didn't care for that other people look at me and think that I'm crazy, but it, 
everyone has their own opinion. Now this book was primed for a custom dust jacket. I mean, the, the white spine, the white backing with no collected covers on it. Um, and this, I don't know, it's all right. I'll, it's, I like it. I mean, it's not bad, but there's definitely better stuff out there. Uh, and without further ado, let's take a look at what that better stuff was, because we absolutely knocked it out of the park with Roy this time. And this was the cover we came up for. Much more powerful, much bigger statement in my opinion. Uh, I really liked the fact there were multiple characters on it and the, the split was just really good. I, I just found it to be a lot better than this. Uh, so that, that wasn't bad. Uh, the spine, he definitely it didn't do a lot to it, but the funny thing is, is that he didn't have to. I just, we, we add a little bit of color to it and it just pops. I like it. It looks, looks a lot better on the shelf than this does. Now, of course, we definitely had to add the collected covers in the back. Collected covers are always the option when I, when I do these. Um, I just prefer them because it's always nice to be able to see the each, each individual cover. Sometimes they don't always put them in the book, so it's nice to have them on the back for reference and stuff like that. But, uh, but that's pretty much it, folks. So let's go ahead and get our spine shot here of all of these again. All right, and here's our spine shot. Uh, now, like I said, these don't look bad on the shelf next to each other. They don't. Uh, but I just, I really liked the design that Roy did, and we went ahead and switched it up to that with some new covers. And then this just got an overhaul. Uh, Hush just needed an overhaul. I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, all right, next we're going to get into the creation process of these custom dust jackets. I'm going to show you a time lapse of the printing, trimming, bro dart wrapping, and folding of these custom dust jackets, and then we'll get our final shot. <laughs> And hush, let's wrap it. These came out really well, I thought.
came out great. There's Volume 2 and Volume 1. Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo. Batman. Let's get them wrapped. Alright, next we're going to do the wrapping for Batman Hush. Custom dust jacket here. We'll use a dust jacket to get our line here, our measurements. Paper here. We're almost out of that roll. Let's just start a new one. All right, let's flip it over. Here in the flaps. We're gonna want to seat it left to right properly. And once it's left to right, we're gonna seat it up top as high as it'll go, and then fold from the bottom. Take the book and find our spine line. into the bro dart. Once it's in there, make sure it's centered left to right and then seated up top as high as it'll go. Once it's seated, just fold from the bottom. Get our book and find our spine line. Slash cover line. The first one and the last one. Whoop. The last one, if I can hang on to it. Cut the last piece off here. And that will do it for another roll of Brodart. These Brodart rolls are, I can remember, like 30 to 50 bucks. If I haven't bought a roll in a long time. Um, I bought a bunch of them when I had some extra money. And just because I knew I'd need them eventually for all these dust jackets that I'm making. But then I haven't bought any since. So uh, you'll find them on Amazon under Brodart. All right. So once we get a cut, insert as usual. Make sure it's centered left to right. And then seated fully up top. And then fold from the bottom. As usual, we get our spine line here. Fold on our cover flap line. There we have it. Wrapped and protected. <laughs> and that's it for our custom dust jackets for Batman by Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder and Batman Hush. Once again, thank you, Roy, for all you do. None of this would be possible without you. He brings all of my projects to life, and uh, his design on this was just on point. Loved it. Couldn't, couldn't ask for a better Batman set. As always, I get 90% of my books from Organic Price Books. For those of you that shop at Organic Price Books, don't forget to use the code BADWOLF during checkout for $2 off your order. And if you just can't get enough and you want a great place to talk comics or talk with like-minded folks, you can always come see me at the Bad Wolf Comics Facebook group. 
I can also be found lurking in the pages of the Omnibuds Cafe. It's another great place to talk comics with like-minded folks. Uh, a lot of people are buying and selling stuff there too. You might find something you've been looking for that you didn't want to pay those eBay prices for. So check them out. You won't be disappointed. But stick around, true believers. Bad Wolf Comics has more in store for the month of October. In the coming weeks, we'll be comparing Spawn, the Origins Collection, versus the Origins Collection Deluxe Edition. So it's basically the white books versus the tall black books. And on Halloween itself, we have our Halloween haul. Until then, I am the Bad Wolf. This is Bad Wolf Comics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Ha, 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 ha.